Okay, this is a quick video on creating a raster catalog. And I'm doing this in ArcGIS 10. 9.3 may be a little bit different than this. Um, I currently have a county here with some township boundaries and street information to give us some orientation. And instead of using the catalog within ArcGIS 10, I'm going to use uh, the Arc Catalog application, which is also separate, so that it'd be a little closer to what 9.3 might have. So we go to nine, go to the uh, catalog entity, and a raster catalog resides within a geodatabase. So the first step is to right-click on the file folder, excuse me, where you want to create a geodatabase. Go to New, and inside New to the subfolder file geodatabase. And the only thing you need to do is change the name on the geodatabase. It comes up empty and we'll just call this one Putnam County Imagery. Okay. Now there's nothing in it of course. It's a blank geodatabase. So our next step is to create the raster catalog. And the way you do that is you right click on the geodatabase go to new in the sub menu there context menu and then underneath there is a raster catalog option select that and we can create a blank raster catalog within this new geodatabase here's the dialog for creating the raster catalog at the top it already identifies the geodatabase is going to be going into. I don't have any templates to use. Well, let's just go over the with the simplest options. We're going to give it a name. My first township I'm going to use is called uh, South Southeast. <clears throat> the coordinate system, I would set this and that would make the coordinate system. I would just import it from some of the imagery that you are going to bring in. So we are inside uh, Temp, Putnam County, and the imagery for now is Southeast, so they're all going to be the same. And so, uh, and then down at the bottom, change this from managed to unmanaged. And the difference being that unmanaged data will not, means the data will not be copied, the resolution, the sampling will all stay as, stay as it was. It just means that you have to make sure that you, if you move the geodatabase and the res and the you will have to update the paths okay so just to recap we have an output location we have the name of the raster catalog uh, then we identified the coordinate system based on the imagery we we're putting in and then finally uh, flag it as unmanaged and just say okay and it creates the the raster catalog you can see down here I'm processing the background and there it is Again, we've created something that's empty. Our next step is actually to put the imagery inside the raster catalog. So we just right click on the catalog where we want to add the imagery for the context menu, go down to the load option, and from there we can load from a workspace or a data set or an XML file. So loading from a workspace, what I've done is uh, gives us this dialog and we have to identify the workspace so I'll click here and I downloaded these zip files from the clearinghouse and put them inside a folder called Southeast for that township and that's the workspace I'm going to identify I don't have to individually grab every f every um, image and our target raster catalog is the one that I creating this uh, loading into um, and I don't need the rest of these, so I said OK. And it will start to load these in. It'll take a little while. There's quite a few pieces. And what it's doing is reading each piece, bringing it in, making sure their orientation, and creating a, a uh, an outline for each image that it can use as a, for tiling. It tiles the things up. Excuse me. Creating tiles. And so there's the there's the uh, new raster catalog. So let's take that raster catalog and I'm going to just drag it right across and drop it into my map.
Okay, let's pull the catalog away. And here we go. Now you notice that it is down here, the town of South East is covered. So we can put that up above if you like. And that's what the raster catalog looks like, zoomed out. And we can identify what happens is we can use these township or these road information as our guide. And as we zoom in, and get to a scale that we can set and we set it by how many frames are being shown and at by default it's going to be at nine then the imagery will kick in and it will stay visible as long as you stay below that threshold on your scaling and you can uh, pan around <clears throat> and uh, it will read the imagery it needs this is much easier on your graphic card much easier on your system to manage very large data sets because what happens is um, as soon as you say okay I want to go to another township, all you need to do is zoom back out, it drops back to the wireframe, and you can go over to another town and view its imagery. So we need to create a raster catalog. Let me pull it back over. So what we want to do is once you create this geodatabase, then you create the raster catalog with inside of it. Give it the same name for each township, so you'll create one for each township. Once you have those created and download the data and put it in a folder for each township, then once you have that, all you need to do is right click on the raster catalog and use the load option to load from workspace and make it point to the workspace that corresponds to the specific township you're bringing in. And it should read it in and create the data for you. And then when you're all done, you can just add these individual raster catalogs in as you need them, or you could create a group layer of these catalogs. Now, the only thing I want to show you just before I exit is that uh, I mentioned how these by default are controlled by nine as we zoom in. By default, if we show nine, right now we're showing uh, uh, four, 16, over 16 tiles. If we zoom into here, we'll be showing nine tiles. And, it, and evidently we're we're now showing it. Just just step back one, and it should click off. There we go. So where do you where do you control that? You can right click on the southeast raster catalog. Go down to properties for the catalog. Inside the display tab, there's an option for wireframes. So you can say. <clears throat> show it when there's nine wireframes. You can set it to four. You can set it to 16 if you want, wherever you like. Uh, that's one area in which you can control that. Another would be under general. You can also set it by scale. So you can have it in both ways um, as to whether it's going to click on or off. However, if you set it by scale, I think you will lose the frame as well. Let me try that. Okay, so here's the frame. If I zoom down to less than 9, it should show the imagery. Now if I scroll back out to greater than 100,000, I lose the wireframe as well. So if you uh, prefer not to have the wireframe unless in, until you get within the township, then just set your scale down to something on, on the uh, properties under general. Just set the scale down to something relatively manageable like uh, 50,000 maybe and then what happens is uh, the wireframe won't even be visible until you get down to where you can actually start reading the township of the streams and things or the roads and streams and whatever in the township then the wireframe will become active and then from there you can zoom into a certain tile area